Wow. So hello, my name is Mr. P. As you know, I'm a 18th century soul. Um, wandering upon the several layers of existence, and we are painting a portrait today. For such, we just grabbed a homemade fig tree stick uh, made into charcoal to draw the, the figure, and for its face, we have decided to use a piece of red pastel, pastel quite uh, fashionable during my period and later on and earlier on so we are defining here or trying to find the face and defining it as bluntly as we can not really uh, very accurately but at least we know where the eyes, the nose, the mouth is. And here we are already with a very nice uh, kind of yellow, uh, burnt yellow. We are already defining the chiaroscuro because this lovely color will blend with a red pastel and uh, it will let's say, provoke, or, or create, let's say, create a very nice dark skin tone which, again, will help us to define the dark areas, the light areas. It's, it's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> Filling in the darks, the areas. Here we have um, placed or reinforced the darks with a burnt umber. And we are now playing with the light areas. Again, this is not the final skin tone, but it's a, a, a tone that will help us to create luminosity, as we have already the mid dark, uh, the, dar the mid darker tones. Now we are applying the mid lighter tones. It's always a game, mid dark tone. Uh, and then the light, mid light tone on top, and then this and that, and well, you see the point. You see the results. I, I mean, I mean. Mm -hmm. This tone will also help us to again sculpt the face because painting and sculpture are actually are very similar because one can also sculpt with uh, with paint but I guess sculptures would say ah you're just redefining shapes which is true but isn't sculpture all about redefining uh, shapes? I guess so. Funny that um, as one applies a color, it, it uh, sort of darkens, and uh, when we apply, we apply a fresh brush stroke it looks like it's uh, a lighter tone but it's not cute huh 
So here we are playing with this skin tone, redefining the face. You noticed already that the forehead kind of uh, became bigger, slightly taller. And we have sketched already a color for the hair, but uh, that will change in the meantime. On this stage, we are applying a lighter tone skin, skin tone, sorry, lighter skin tone, which almost looks like white, but it's not. It is a very pale uh, skin tone, and we have applied already a bit of rouge, indeed. And there are some glasses uh, sketched, sketched, and uh, normally we don't paint glasses, but these are iconic, and uh, I thought, well, they have to, to stay within the picture. So again, we are redefining the uh, white areas. Tra -la -la. As we applied the rouge, also the lipstick is already on, and uh, we used a very bright red, which uh, also sort of probably uh, still have some red pastel underneath, so it's kind of mix. It really does look like a, an, uh, one of my make ops, but it's not. So now we are becoming rather tired of the face, and we decided to go on the background, for the background. So for the background, we are painting it bluntly black, just pitch black. And we will use that same black in order to define the, uh, the clothes, namely a bodice and uh, also that lovely Elizabethan ruff. As you will see, it was a bit of a challenge because, again, the bodice has lots of jewellery and um, we had to be careful either to paint everything black and then uh, redefine the jewellery with through colour or painting in tiptoes. And I guess that's what we decided to go. We just sketched all over again with paint, again with the mid dark browns uh, for the gold areas, uh, the blue laces, the sleeves, and then we just played with the, the lighter tones of uh, at least two, uh, two, uh, coats of uh, different yellows until we went uh, to a sort of banana color and the same with the bows as you can see there's three different blues there and well after many fiddlings here and there we finally applied the last touches of white in the final uh, stage.
as you can see, voila, after one day of work. Sometimes one is more inspired, other times one is less inspired. Doesn't depend on the subject, maybe, probably depends upon me, depends upon my image and the final result. But as you had the opportunity of seeing throughout the video, this is just a game between dark tones, light tones, until one reaches the final black and the final white. Um, just in case you have her contact and uh, you would like to share it with her, please do. And uh, do apologize um, for the inconsistency of the light, but one has to spare the candles, wouldn't you say? Thank you so much for watching and um, see you next time. Bye.